So the Black Ops 3 mod tools was released the other day and it's been amazing. Looking at all the gameplay and everything and looking at all the possibilities we have of weapons we can get, of buildables we can get and everything else like that. We've seen gameplay with the staffs, we've seen gameplay with the trample steam, we've seen quite a few new maps now that have been made, one of which is in the background of this video that you're watching, which by the way is called Dead Apartment. We're able to get Taco's Katana, we're able to get the dual wield ray gun, we're able to get almost anything at this point and you literally can just spawn everything in. Now this is exactly what we we need as a community because what this does and what this enables us as a community to be able to do is to be able to play old maps again but with little tweaks like playing Zetsubo no Shima with Takio's Katana but actually be happy about it because we now have what we want. We have Takio's Katana in Zetsubo no Shima. We're able to go to the boss fights in different maps and be able to do them in different styles like we're able to do dual wield ray guns in the Eisen Dragon like I saw Nora J456 do yesterday and it wouldn't surprise me if we're able to do things like take away fire from Gorod Krovi, if we're able to take away the Snow effect from the Eisen Dracker or the Giant if we're able to get the upgraded Apothecan Servant on Shadows of Evil. We can literally do everything we want now. This is perfect for YouTubers because it just gives YouTubers unlimited content to be able to do whatever the hell they want with it. Like I said, we got no J456 doing the Dark Eisen Dracker boss fight yet again, but this time with dual wield ray guns, which is pretty awesome. We have other YouTubers doing the Zetsubo no Shima's boss battle with Taku's Katana, and like I say, literally the possibilities are endless. Now so far I've really only spoken about the maps that we already had but like tweaks to them so like tweaks to different maps that we've already got on Black Ops 3 but don't forget that mod tools we actually can have completely different maps like I said in the background of this video you're watching a completely new map this is called Dead Apartment if you wanted to go download it and this is basically a very small map it is a two roomed map it has a mystery box a bowie knife has some weapons on the wall it has your perp machines and you basically have to just survive there's not really any way for you to train in this map so it is pretty difficult however it's a lot of fun and it definitely is something new and don't forget as well this is literally day three of mod tools like everything we've had so far has literally been created within the alpha and within the first few days of the mod tools being out this means that they're only going to get better they're very glitchy at the moment some of these maps i've seen other youtube who have died from doing stupid things like walking into a wall and just dying or falling under the map obviously it's gonna happen because these are new maps but with time give it a month give it two months give it like five months or whatever and you're gonna have some really awesome maps to be able to play with if you give it a year I, I can't even imagine some of the remakes we would get with like Kino de Toten and everything imagine an Ascension or a Moon remake if you try to imagine like remember back in the old mod tools we were able to get like Transit and Call of the Dead remakes but without Fog we had Transit without the Denizens and everything so you're able to just take away certain aspects aspects of the map and then all of a sudden you've got a brand new map which is actually really really good and I've seen a few maps at the moment being created that are not quite out at the moment for instance Madgaz has a series of videos in which he's been creating this awesome looking map for the past few months now I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen that by now and it's not quite out yet but it's really awesome because he's got like a banana colada perk in there he's got it just in a dumpster it's like a little easter egg thing and he also has like the song easter egg in there as well as well as a load of other things as well in the map that we've probably not seen yet and I'm sure when that map drops as well that's going to be very popular for the community so, so far, like I said, we've only seen a few small maps, really. And this one that's playing right now is definitely the smallest map out of the whole lot. It just excites me as a content creator to be able to do this type of thing, to know that we have all of this content that's available at our hands. I know we already had more tools like World at War and Black Ops 1, but they were nowhere near as diverse and in-depth as the ones we're going to get in Black Ops 3. Like I said, this is only the beginning, and we also have multiplayer maps as well so for instance we got the call of duty 4 map house which has now been remade into black Ops 3 and it looks awesome and not only that we've got a gun game on it as well so there's some gameplay of that in the background as well i've seen people playing gun game on the giant i've seen people doing all sorts of things with different multiplayer maps we've also had shipment being remade as well that looks amazing unfortunately i don't at the moment have any gameplay of shipment but it does look amazing it's a remade shipment from call of duty 4 again but it's just the look of it the graphics makes it look so much better and the awesome thing about a lot of these maps is that they could be passed as Treyarch maps. I know they're not quite as in-depth as Treyarch maps like with Easter eggs and things. However, the look of them and everything, they do take a long time to make. Like I say, if you watch Madgaz's videos on when he was creating his map, you'll see how one room could take you literally all day to create or could even take you longer. Because you have to move like each individual item in its place to make sure everything is there and everything is correct so obviously creating a map is going to take you a very long time to do so the amount of time that the people have had with the alpha mods they've had a few months now i think they've probably had a little bit longer than that but they've had say two or three months to make these maps 
they've done a really good job so far of just creating some of the most awesome things so far that we've seen in Black Ops 3. I cannot wait to see what's around the corner. Obviously, we've got Infinite Warfare Zombies as well coming out very soon with the remake of Modern Warfare as well. So at the moment, Call of Duty is really hyped. We've got so much content that we can bring out to you guys. If anything, we have too much content and it's just amazing seeing all of this come to light within the space of a couple of weeks. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like rating. I really wanted to get a modern gameplay video onto my channel. So this is the first of many to come. Leave a like rating on the video. Comment down below what you think of mod tools and what you think about Infinite Warfare Zombies and the future of Call of Duty Zombies, especially within the next year. Do you think it's going to be alive? Do you think it's going to die down a lot with hype and everything? Do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here for more zombies content. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.